Good morning from Lake Muma. You are looking absolutely beautiful this morning. Right now I want to share with you something mind blowing. Something that I've been personally exploring for about eight years now. And this is an uh, the timeless world. Now before you go, whoa, 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 this is all way too much for me. And click in and click on that next stupid video you're gonna watch. Hear me out, just let, let, me, let me talk for a second. Can you hear this? It's the sound of a clock ticking, isn't it? Tick, tock, tick, tock. And it's wild because that sound probably controls your life and you've never asked why. Why does a clock tell you when you're supposed to go to sleep? Hmm. Why does a clock tell you when you're supposed to wake up? Why does a clock tell you when to go to work, when to come home, when to eat? The clock basically controls people's lives. I mean, think about this. How many, when was the last time you were like, oh, what time is it? It's six o'clock, time for dinner. Or, oh, um, ah, man, it's getting late, time for bed. No, like we live in this world that is dominated by this conceptual idea of time. Now I know there's this argument going back as to time being an actual fabric of our existence or whether it's just a conceptual thing. I mean, obviously, the sun sets and rises and we have light and darkness. But the thing is this, your body is actually adjusted to time. Your body has actually um, begun to be programmed in this way. I don't believe that it's always been that way. And I know for a fact that it doesn't have to continue to be that way. I know that you can set your body free from time and from the circadian rhythms because I've personally done it. Now, I'm not, and what I mean by personally done it is I've played with all kinds of different sleep patterns and letting go of the circadian rhythms. If you don't know what a circadian rhythm is, I'll just post a good link for it here. Before you go exploring this or playing with this, it is something you want to check out because... For most people, their body is so programmed that it's very difficult to begin to free it. Uh, just like it's difficult to free your mind from things that you believe strongly. You, know, you have a certain kind of belief in place. It's very difficult to free your mind. In the same way, these circadian rhythms are so inbred, so, um, so ingrained in your mind. And then even at a cellular level in your consciousness, in a belief state that it is difficult to free your mind from. Again, everything that you free your mind from really begins consciously, just asking the question, why? And so I, this video is really just here to get you to start asking why. Why is it dinner time? And so your body's been programmed to be hungry because of a time. It's not even actually hungry. It's just your mind is sending signals to your stomach, your stomach sending signals to your mind that's saying, hey, listen, it's six o'clock. It's about the time that I eat every day. I'm hungry. Isn't that wild that your stomach isn't actually hungry? This is one of the reasons why that our culture is as overweight as it is because we eat all the time. And now all the time is something that is just we're hungry all the time. I don't understand why I'm hungry all the time. Because you're looking at a clock and allowing it to dictate the terms of your fucking existence. That's why. <sighs> so, you start asking the question, why? Why am I eating when I'm eating, sleeping when I'm sleeping, working when I'm working? I mean, why in the world do we work nine to five jobs? Whoever said that was good? 
Like, for most people, their goal is to get a good job. What? You want a job? You want to get a good job and work eight hours a day and save a few bucks and why? Why? Why do you want a good job? Because, you know, I mean, that's just the way to do it, you know, and and then I can have the whole weekend off. You get the whole weekend off? What? You see, we're, we need to start asking more questions. And this is one of the things that um, I'm here to help you with. It's just to ask good questions and to begin thinking differently about things. And when it comes to time, I simply want you to think about this. Are you a robot? Are you meant to live robotically? Or are you meant to live on purpose? When you think about time in the sense of that you just are doing things the way the body's been trained to do them, programmed to do them, then what you're doing is you're literally living like a robot. Mm, Eat, time to eat, time to work, time to sleep, instead of living on purpose. Go out and live, man. I mean, look at the world around you. Go fucking live. Food will be there. Sleep will be there. Go live. The number one thing to setting yourself free from every little ensnare, every little thing that you have unintentionally been ensnared by is to live on purpose. Why are... Just choose right now to be like, you know what? I want to do this. I'm going to be on purpose and do this. And it doesn't even have to be fabricated. Just follow the joy. Follow the bliss. Follow what's in your heart. I mean, my God, how can you not want to follow the bliss when the bliss leads you to places like this? When the joy of being alive in this moment leads you to places like this, it's incredible. Most people don't know what follow your bliss means because they've been living so robotically. According to that tick, tick, tick of the clock. So I just want to encourage you right now. Don't have a bunch of miraculous steps for you or you know things like that today. But I do have some encouragement. Choose right now to live on fucking purpose. Live on purpose today. I don't care whether you're at work or not. Whether you're spending time with your family. Whether you're... Um, what it is that you have planned on the calendar again time if you're going to do that at least to do that on purpose because daggone it you want to because you know what I feel this I'm in it as if you're not in it nobody wants you there anyway choose to do something that you're in let's rediscover our passions and our joys let's rediscover what is beautiful about being alive on this beautiful playground we call the earth let's discover what that looks like again and stop being robots and slaves of a fucking clock you are incredible spontaneous you are ah so beautiful And I know that when you start living on purpose, you will never regret it. There might be some trades that you have to make along the way saying, you know what, I'm willing to trade this money to do this thing, this once in a lifetime opportunity to follow this joy, this bliss. I might need to let go of this job or I might need to let go of this relationship in order to experience the beauty of living in this moment. But my God, it's worth it. The trade's worth it. There will always be people around you in your life there will always be things to do there will always be there will always be jobs there will always be businesses you can start this moment this is a once in a lifetime moment this right here for me I'll never have again and you'll never have again so let's be fully present in this moment and start living on purpose I love you if you haven't already subscribed go ahead and do so now man click that bell for notifications join The Guru of Trill Tribe, be a part of this thing. I just want to be able to encourage the world and bless you guys and encourage you guys to live on purpose and to love life and to enjoy every fucking second of it. So 
I love you so much, man. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. I'll leave you with this view.